Scott Wagstaff, that O had to go. We got our first win. What's the atmosphere like in the dressing room? Yeah, obviously the boys are buzzing. The boys are really happy. Um, I think we deserved it today, especially with the first first half performance. Performance, um, but no, the boys, the boys are brilliant. Obviously, at the end, it it got a little bit twitchy, but um, I think that's only going to hold us in good stead now because we didn't win the game comfortably, but. It, we've got things to work on, do you know what I mean? So it's going to be a nice sort of week ahead. Uh, we've got uh, Tuesday, we've got Leighton Orient, which is going to be another tough one. And then obviously South End as well on a Saturday, which is another big one. So we're looking to try and get the, the three wins in this week and, and that will sort of push us right at the table then. Rochdale gave us a proper test. That's something we can really draw strength from, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think the, the boys showed good heart there, uh, especially at the end. I think um, you've got to understand teams are going to come at us when we're freeing it up. Teams are going to definitely cheat a little bit more and play the longer balls and battle a lot harder when you're 3 down. It's easy. Do you know what I mean, we've been there this season. Um, it is a lot easier, but um, the boys showed good character at the end to, to hold out and, and I felt we definitely deserved to, to, deserve to win. What's it been like working with Glyn Hodges on the training ground this week? Because it seems like you picked up where you left off against Peterborough, attacking. Yeah, no, the boys, the boys have been brilliant. The boys have been brilliant. They've taken obviously everything that, that Hodges put in, put into place, and and it's obviously showing the, the rewards on the pitch. I think, especially first half, we we were excellent. Um, we we've, we've tried to retain the ball a lot better, um, and I felt we've we've tried to play a lot more, um, which which is nice for obviously me as a as a sort of attacking sort of player. Well, not anymore, but um, mm -hmm. yeah, no, it's it, it's it's nice. Um, so no, the boys are enjoying it, and hopefully we can carry that on now. Yeah, and you touched upon defensively as well. We had to reshift it, and you're playing at right back as well now. Um, well, we did very well this afternoon, didn't we? In the end, really. Yeah, no, obviously it's it's, it's a place I've, I've played before. Um, obviously, the older I get, the, the more distance I've got to try and cover. But you know, it's 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 good. Obviously, as long as I'm playing, that's the main thing for me. I want to be playing and and helping the young lads because we've got a really young team here, and and that's all I'm going to try and do now. And, and we need to make sure we pick up the wins and and get a good little run going because it's a great feeling. Uh, the boys are all happy in there, and and that's how it should be. And we haven't had that win winning feeling for a while and we need to we need to bounce bounce back again next week. How important is it for Marcus Force as well? Having served that suspension, comes back, gets on the score sheet straight away today. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's, it's, I think it just settles the nerves as well, especially for us. Um, gets us that, that early goal, and I think we could sort of express ourselves a lot more then. Um, I think obviously the, the more it goes on nil nil or what they score, it's, 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 it starts to play on your mind. But uh, no, the boys were excellent. We were a lot more ruthless today, um, and Marcus was Marcus worked his socks off. He come off with cramp at the end. Him and Pigs were different class for us today. It's a hard shift up there. We know I know what it's like, um, but they they work their socks off and. Hopefully we can get Pigs a goal as well next week. And on the other flank to you as well, Paul Osso. I mean, it's an incredible story, the, the rise he's had so far this season. Yeah, he's been brilliant. He's obviously had to buy his time. Nesta's done really well in there, so he's, he's had to buy his time. And I felt he's, he's taken it with both hands. He's... He's some athlete. He's some athlete. I'd never like. Whenever I've played against him, I just let him run past me because I know I'm not going to catch him. But he's um, he's he's done really really well, and he, he is he's a good young lad as well. He's taken it all in. Um, same with Maxi in the middle as well. Mm. They're they're both taking it in, and we got we got a very young team, and and they've all been really really good. And, and now obviously winning this game will hopefully help them uh, build their confidence as well. What message does it send to the rest of the squad when you get Mitch Pinnock, who's who's come in the last two games? He's been brilliant, and it shows the rest of the squad. You can get in there as well. Yeah, no, no, definitely. Obviously, Mitch is one of them as well. He's sort of bided his time. He's he's had to, he's had some he's had some tough times at the minute. Um, but I said to him, you, that's, that's football. It happens. You, you're going to have to just work hard and keep grafting. And and he's done that. And he's he's deserved his two goals. And I thought Woody was excellent as well coming back in. Um, they've both been brilliant. Obviously, two experienced lads as well uh, coming back in, which is nice, nice for me as well. I don't have to do all the shouting, which which I'm quite good at, but um, no, the boys the boys have been brilliant and obviously Pins deserved his goal again today and, and hopefully he can carry that on. You don't want to look too far ahead, but there's another couple of games coming up here now. The supporters run it today. We want this atmosphere again for the next couple yeah, of games. Yeah, definitely. It was brilliant. No, it was different class today. I think you, you get goosebumps, especially when the third goal went in, you sort of get that buzz and it's brilliant to play in front of, obviously. I understand when we haven't been winning games, it's, it's difficult to try and stick with it. I, I do understand that, but these are probably some of the best fans I've played for, as in um, looking looking after the boys when we've got beat and things like that. So they need to stick with us and, and we'll always give 100% for them. Waggy, very well done today. Cheers.